Computer Science AML Department from KIT College of Engineering, Kolhapur. Today, we'll be looking up with the Unit 2 number system and we'll be understanding about the number system. Previously, we had understood how the binary octal and hexadecimal numbers are converted into decimal number systems. Here, individually, we will be looking how the decimal number is converted to binary and then the decimal number is converted to octal and then the decimal number is converted to hexadecimal number. First, we will be looking how the decimal number is converted into the binary. So, consider the example as a 65 number. Sixty-five number is the decimal number. That number we have to convert into the binary. So the division process is followed. The sixty-five number is taken. We have uh, made the division as uh, two into thirty-two is sixty-four. So the value as one will be remainder. Then two into sixteen uh, thirty-two. So zero remainder, zero. And whatever the remainder values we have got, we have to take on to the upward, downward to upstream. So the value obtained is 1, all time 0 and 1. Here is the value of the, or here is the process of how the conversion of the decimal to the binary is done. Now again, we have to understand how the conversion of decimal to octal is done. One another thing we have to notice is uh, if I am having the value as 65.80 or 25 for example, okay. we have made the process of uh, 65, right? The next point value is 25 which is of decimal value, that 25 should be multiplied by 2, we get the value of 0 0.50, 0 should be removed. 0.50 should be multiplied by 2, we get the value of 1.00, 1 should be removed and it is taken from downwards to up. So the 0.25 value will be represented as 0 0.10, okay. Next conversion is how the decimal number is converted from to the octal format. So here, the division is done through 8, okay, if the remainder is obtained, that is written on the right hand side, okay, and then we have taken from downward to up approach. So the conversion of 1032 of decimal will be 2010 of octal. Next part is the conversion of decimal to hexadecimal, okay. So here if the decimal number is 2297, it is divided by 16 and whatever the remainder value obtained, for example, 15 value is equivalent to F, so the F value is represented here 8, so it is upward, downward to up approach, so the value will be 8F9 of 16. Now, here, consider, we will consider one example and try to look how the solving of the process is done, okay. So, if I am having the example as, uh, we will take octal number 7, 4, 2, point five. This number is of decimal we will consider and that we have to convert it into the format of octal. Okay. So how is the process of that? First we have to take 742 value divided by 8. 8 9 is 72, we get 2 remainder, 8 to the 16, we will get the remainder as 4. 8 ones are 8, 8 ones are 8, remainder is 4, 8 ones are 8, 3 is the remainder. So the value obtained is 1344 of 
octal. Remaining portion is decimal point point five four. Point five four should be multiplied by eight. So the value will be eight four is thirty two. Eight five is forty. Forty plus three forty three. So it will become four point three two. I will erase some portion here for the clear understanding. So we have understood about uh, the real or the part before the decimal point. Okay. We have noted down the number as seven four two point five four, where the value of seven forty two we have got the octal value. Okay, we are looking up with the decimal point that is point five four, and we will be getting the octal value of it. So I'll erase this number also. Point fifty four we have multiplied by eight, and I have got the value as four point three two. Here we have to separate four as one part, right? And point three two value again we have to multiply by eight. So what is the value here? Two point five six. Again we will get the value as two, and point five six again we have to multiply it by eight. It finds the forty, forty four, four point four eight. We can take up to two or three value, and then we have to take the upward to downward trend, and the value of the decimal part will be point four two four of octal. And after addition of both of this, we will get the value as one three four four point four two four. Which is the representation of octal number. So this is the way how we convert the decimal number to octal, hexadecimal, and binary format. In the next part, we will be understanding how the hexadecimal number is converted to binary, octal number is converted to binary, and Hexadecimal number, how it is converted to octal, and then even the octal number, how it is converted to hexadecimal. Thank you.